Hi folks, welcome to part 3 of the uh, transit seal replacement. Um, before we get into the video, as always, uh, please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button and when you do, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're informed of all the videos as and when I do it. Also, can you please have a look at my uh, Teespring store, it's a merch store. We've got uh, t-shirts, mugs, uh, bags, all sorts of products in, in all sorts of different colours. You know, and it really does sort of help me out, keep doing what I'm doing. Um, also, in the description box, uh, please uh, have a look at my uh, friends' channels. Uh, you know, go support them, go show them some love. Drop them a comment and let them know that uh, you've come from me. Anyway, let's get, get into it and have a recap. Right, so on the last video, you see we got it uh, all primed up. Um, I've sort of, I've, I have unmasked it already. We're about to get it outside. Um, so yeah, it went on a bit dry, but it doesn't matter. It's it's filler primer. It'll all get blocked out. So yeah, I'm going to uh, get it outside, jack it up, get the wheels, get the wheels off. And there's a little bit of welding that I need to do on the uh, chassis mount there, like right underneath. And then we're going to clean up all the backside. But I'll show you what we're doing when I get it jacked up. Right, so I've got the van jacked up, got the wheels off now. So let's have a look underneath and we'll see what I mean. Uh, yeah, just a little bit there, look. This doesn't have to be that neat. I'll just cut out the actual rot and then buzz a plate in around there, nice and neat. And then you've got to clean this up. You know, cleaned it up on the uh, that other side, so I know it's solid. Just needs to actually clean this up, clean all the flakiness off. And then we stone chip it for him. Rolled that up now. Cut the little pinholes where it uh, gas blew away, but it's alright. I used a uh, scraper, scraped all the flaky off all the way along. And then I just used um, a wire brush to clean clean the rest of it up. So yeah, we've keyed up the bottom. I still need to uh, key up that core. We'll do that in a minute. Yeah, so we've keyed it all up. Uh, nice 500. So it should be nice and neat. Um, I've marked out where I want the stone chip to come. So yeah, we're gonna get that um, masked up and stone chipped. Then while the stone chips sort of just setting off, we'll get this keyed up. Um, I mean, originally I was I was gonna sort of bring it into here. You know, you, you don't really want to sort of lacquer on a big gap like this, but because it was so low down in a van, I thought I was gonna get away with it because the repair come a little bit higher and we're painting this whole rear quarter not ideal to paint outside I mean painting that little bit it doesn't matter too much but you know I've got to paint that outside so yeah it should be alright I've done stuff like this before so there you go you can see sort of masked it up all the way along the side you know just under that that main line so then when I stone chip it we can just pull this uh, let it tape off and we'll have a nice clean line ready to paint I've actually skipped a couple of steps because the weather turned so we've now got it all stone chipped underneath there you can see it's the same fucking colour as the primer so you can't really see um, we've got it all sheeted up look you can see how windy it is now this is not ideal conditions to be painting a vehicle outside. Base coat's down, all covered up. There's a patch here. Can't quite see it on camera that I will, uh, I'm gonna give a quick flick again. Uh, there's a couple of little bits of shit. Don't know if you can see. There you go. I'll uh, quickly nib off. But we have colour, it's looking good. The wind's still not helping, it's got colder, and it's probably about eight o'clock at night right now. It's actually got dark, but we've got plenty of colour on everything, all the way through. Um, got the floodlight out, yeah, got a nice even colour. Can see I didn't spray up here, you know, because that was the original colour sort of faded in. But now we're going to uh, tack it off and get some lacquer on. So I'll tack it off again before I spray, but I'm going to give it a quick one now. 
get all the uh, little bits off. Next day, obviously, um, I've unmasked it, back to put the wheels on. Now, this arch come out lovely, lovely, lovely finish. Bit of crap in it, it will polish out, it's not a problem. I expected some crap. Um, for some reason, well, I know exactly why this has all gone flat. Yeah, you can see it's all, all flat, and I've also got a sag in it. Um, I was trying to get as much lack on as I possibly could, and I've put a little bit of uh, fasteners in it, so that's why it's gone flat, but there's plenty of lacquer on there. That I'll, uh, I'll polish up. So I'm going to get the door back on for him, get it all on the floor, and uh, I'll get that sag out and uh, polish it up. It's all polished up. As you can see, that's pretty shiny. Um, chap's actually going to be here in about 10 minutes to pick it up. So I don't actually have time to wash it, but considering I painted that outside I'm quite happy with that yeah traps we're gonna pick it up in a few minutes we're, we're, we're done so like I've said at the uh, top of all of the videos please subscribe please like please drop a comment uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell when you do subscribe so you're informed of all my new videos please uh, have a look at my Teespring store uh, please have a look at the uh, description for all of my friends on YouTube. Um, I will see you for the next one. Bye.